Hello everyone, today's video we're going to be talking about our four gigantic exhaust fans we have placed on this side of the Connex. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're going to be talking about the fan control for these big exhaust fans. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you want to set up a GP or ASIC mining farm, here's an ASIC mining farm right here, 1.75 megawatts. Running S17 Plus, S19 Pro. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves you from inflation. Bitcoin saves your wealth, and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so we got all our S19s, S17s running the lawn, doing a good job. Just blew them all out, blew all the dust out of them. A couple of days ago, finished that up. They're all placed. Got all our nice little ventilation going. Hot air coming around, get sucked in here to prevent humidity, high humidity. We got all those corners done in the same fashion. So the airflow is good, airflow in is good, airflow from there, a little you got a little backdrop coming back. Everything's good. The only problem is that when it gets hot outside, we want to get rid of the hot air. So we have a ventilation system, exhaust ventilation system that helps with that. It's gonna be these big four fans. So in the winter time, they're off. They're not on in the winter time. They only turn on in the summertime. Right now, it is summertime. It's around like 75 degrees. It's pretty warm. So they're on at full blast. They turn on at 70. So I'm gonna go inside and show you guys our fan control system. Show you guys how it works, give you an idea. And then talk about more details when I step out of the Connex so you can hear me. All right, let's go. So here's made by Honeywell. It's 75 right now outside. It's got a little temperature sensor right here going out the hole. So that's our temperature sensor. I can actually pull it out. So here it is. So on the outside, temperature is 70 or more. We set it here by our settings. Go to home, go to sensors, mod, it's 70. So it slowly ramps up. The maximum speed is 60. That's the max, so they are all at max. This controls each fan. One, two, three, four. Then we have breakers for all four fans. Over here, there are exhaust breakers. And two more exhaust breakers. So there's our exhaust breakers over there. Then we got our power as well as a control. Going up there, going back there. And then over to those fans. So these four fans. Here's the main little outside breakers so you can hit these guys here can turn it off that one and this one and there it is so that's how it's set up we got one two and the other ones down there three four just like that so what happens is when it gets to 70 degrees it starts ramping up and it's based on 10 degrees so that means that, or I think it was eight degrees. So that means that when it gets past a certain amount of degrees, it goes up all the way to maximum speed, which is 60. So it doesn't go from zero to 60 immediately. It does that slowly. And right now they are working at maximum speed. So why do we have this? Uh, the reason is that in the uh, winter time, it's fine. Uh, it's so cold outside that this metal connex kind of cools off the um, cools off the uh, inside air and then also the miners are receiving a lot cooler air so the exhaust on the miners on the actual miners is cooler 
So it comes in here, you know, let's say 40 degrees, you know, 40, 50 degrees, hits the miter, miter turns it into hotter temperature, but when it exits the miter, it's not at like 100 and whatever, 50. It's at reasonable temperatures. But when outside the, the temperature is 75, then you got 75 as the initial temperature going into the miner, which is already warm. Then it's turning that into like 100 something, really, really hot. And you got a lot of those miners and then going out the exhaust. So it accumulates in the back over there and it heats it up so much that the miners have a hard time uh, dealing with it because it actually comes back to the back of the miners and starts heating that up as well as the backdrop here you see the backdrop we have for fighting humidity that backdrop is so hot that it starts uh it start having negative impact on the hash boards they start overheating that's one the other thing is the power supplies so the power supplies on the back also start overheating the electrical components if you look at the power supply here the back over here of the power supply, that starts to overheat as well. And what happens is that power supply overheats, turns off, and then the miner stops working. You have to restart the miner to get it to work again. So to solve all those problems, we have these four big fans that then just push out all that hot air in the summertime. And again, we don't need them on. We only need them on at past 70 degrees. That's when we need them on. We don't need them on earlier than that. It works fine as is. All right, well, that's it pretty much for this video. I want to show you guys uh, more in depth of the auto fan control system we have here set up. It's working good. Uh, it handled all of summer of last year and all the year before that. It worked great. Only turned on when we needed it and turns off when we don't need it. When the time comes around, all the fans are off and they stay off so they save the electricity and, uh, and their lifespan since they're not spinning, they're just sitting there. Well, that's going to be it. Um, check out our site, GriptoLLC.org. If you want to set up a GPU ASIC mining farm or you want to buy yourself some GPUs or ASICs. Best time to buy is right now. Prices are down. If you got cash, you don't want to hold on to it because your inflation's eating away your cash. Buy yourself some GPUs. Start a GPU farm. Buy yourself some ASICs. Start an ASIC farm. That's going to be it for this one. Until next time. Bye.